Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to my weekly penance. Daggerfall. To be fair, Dave, James Ancaster is funny. Yeah, we were talking about famous people from Kettering, in case you're wondering before the before the uh, the, the YouTube VOD started. Hi, hi, YouTube people, how you doing? I do read your comments. You're not left out. Trust me. But yes, James A. Casher is funny, yeah. But I should bloody hope so, because like his job is literally to be funny. So if he wasn't as funny as me, then like he'd have a serious problem. Interesting way of st interesting spelling choice there, Chrono. Is your future self going to be high? Regarding chaos screens for most characterful armies in 40k. Yeah, difficult to disagree with that. Right. Ah, the fighters killed. It's like ground dog day, this. Some should a quest where you hunt and kill a dungeon architect. <laughs> That's a very good idea. Uh, by the way, thank you for... I, I forgot to go through all the subs I missed while I was um, attending to the cat. Let's see. Queen, thank you very much for 30 month, 39 months. Putterov, thank you for the gift subs and also your 44 months of subage. JB with his almost two years of subage and human casualty 42 for resubbing for two months. Been on following on YouTube for about six years, finally been able to catch some streams recently. Marvelous, man. Excellent stuff. Right. <coughs> Perhaps it's time to do some quests for a knightly order or literally any other organization. Yeah, I mean, I've been enjoying getting getting promoted in the Fighters Guild. The problem is, like, the rewards for being promoted in the Fighters Guild are trash, to be honest. So, sort of like, well... <sighs> Bit late in the game to switch now, though, it almost feels like. Where could we find another knight knightly order? Did I even? Am I even a member of a knightly order? How do you even check? I can't remember what factions I've joined at this point. I know we we, we did some for a temple for a while. What's that noise? It's like a fountain noise. That was weird. Right. Yeah, I joined a temple. I, don't, I definitely remember that. Affiliations. Here we go. Archaeologist Guild, the Temple of Mara, the Fighters Guild, Mages Guild. Yeah, that's it. I could do some Mages Guild stuff, I suppose. They definitely have much better rewards. And there is a Mages Guild in town, actually. It's down here somewhere, isn't it? Or is it up there? I don't know. I think it's south. Oh, yeah, it's just right here, in fact. I thought it was the Temple of Mara, but no, it's the Mage's Guild. Right. Hello. It's a bit of a... I don't think I've seen a Mage's Guild with this layout before. Or is a bit labyrinthine, aren't they? Hello. 
Are you the guy who sells spells or something? No, he's just... Okay, he's just a dude. Look at this. <laughs> Teleportate. Yeah, see, they get loads of cool stuff, but you got to unlock it. Whereas the Fighter Guild... Fighter's Guild basically just gives you discounts on training and... Repair. And that's kind of it. We got magic wise. Mark of Magicka. Absorb spells. Long shirt of wildfire. Shining holy water. Use it, it casts light. Khajiit suit of good luck. Cast when held, Jack of Trades. How much does that cost? Might be worth getting that actually, if I can wear it underneath this stuff. Leather healing gauntlets, cast when used heal. And a spell book. I can have that. And that. not have enough gold. Oh, right. Wagon. How much do you want for this? About 2,000. There we go. So... Where, where's the, where does it tell me what magic effects I've got on me? You need to do gold members obligatory class run through its tradition. F f is it fuck? Don't even know what that is. Only thing I've bloody committed to is finishing the main quest. You will get no more and no less from me. Good luck. If I take that off, my luck is fifty-five. Okay, it just yeah, it just boosts my luck by a ton. It's probably a, prob probably a pretty good investment, that actually. Luck eighty-five now. It just gives me a nice modifier to literally everything I do, so that's pretty good. And I've got an emergency healing item as well now, so get a quest. Here we go. Ah, da 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 da. Alchemic mishap interview with a necromancer. Wandering astronaut. One of our experiments is off wandering around another city, apparently not doing any harm, but still in need of someone. To no, I give me a dungeon. Give me a goddamn dungeon. Rogue Imp. Familiar to a high ranking mage. You fell into an experimental spell and has been imbued with all manner of spell like powers. You can find the creature of the Palace of Mornhoth. Palace of. What? Apparently it thinks it is fit to rule. Do be careful, Tim, if you. Alright, okay, fine. This sounds hilarious. I'll, I'll bite. An imp has moved into the palace and declared itself king. Where is the palace? I assume it's this building here?
<laughs> I didn't vote for you. Imperator. Yes. Imperator. Welcome, Moon and Star. I have prepared a place. I clicked for you. on this woman and then I just heard, Welcome, Moon and Star. And I was like, Wait, wait, what? Zamolf. Hello, Zamolf. Thank you very much for the raid, my dude. Hello, everybody. Welcome aboard. Guys, go, go like, follow Zamolf. He's a fantastic streamer. And I, I raid him quite frequently, so you should know this by now. Um, I can hear this, a damn imp. Uh, right now, we're doing a quest for the Mage's Guild, everybody. Oh, there he is. Well, that didn't last very long, did it? Uh, back to the Mage Skill now, then. Uh, we're uh, currently level 9, and we're 93% of the way to level 10. Once we get to level 10, we can actually finish the main quest and then finish the game. And at the moment, for the last, like, five or six streams, I've basically just been grinding to level 10. Uh... And that's basically what we're doing today. Get to level 10, then wait for a mysterious letter to be delivered to me via courier, and then finish the main quest. Because uh, the main quest in Daggerfall is level locked. So you must be this tall to proceed, etc. So right now I'm doing a few Mage's Guild quests, because we've done basically every Fighter's Guild quest on offer. So now we're doing Mage's Guild ones. Thanks for the gold. Give me another one. Let's see. I want something that sends me to a dungeon. We just did Rogue Imp. Protect an honored mage? No, I want to go to a dungeon. Army wrappings. Dangerous wizard. Doubt this you've heard of the crazed wizard Relurch. Given the enormous power he has at his command, Lady Fezin has been delaying any offensive move against Relurch. But that strategy is at an end. The lady has asked us to send someone to destroy the psychopathic mage in return for a magic shortbow. Would you do that for us? Yes. In his laboratory, border laboratory, for at most 20 days before moving on, on to a new location. Okay. Wrong door. Dangerous Wizard is a dungeon quest. Excellent. Uh, okay. Uh, let's open the journal. Border laboratory. It's not even on the border. What's that about? My mercantile on running has improved. Running's good. Running's one of my skills. And we've done it. We've leveled up. That was quick. Well, I guess I'll do this dungeon anyway. Um, ooh, interesting background. Considering we're in the jungly area of the map, I suppose. Right. Uh, what should we increase? More luck? That might not be a bad idea. I've maxed out intelligence, so... Sure, why not? Alright, we're now level 10. We're now level 10, and with the Khajiit suit, I now have luck 91, which is pretty darn good. <laughs> okay. Countdown has started, indeed. Uh, right. Quick save. I, th I believe I still have the auto save mod anyway, but let's quick save to form good habits, shall we? Okay. Oh my days, Fire Atronarch. That's the first of those we've seen in this playthrough. I see how it is, game. It's like, you're level 10 now. <laughs> Enjoy Fire Atronarchs. <laughs> We've crossed the threshold. We are now able to fight really nasty stuff. Uh, where's my magic thing I bought? Of 
healing. A potion of... Oh, I guess a potion of healing will do. That's not what I wanted, though, actually, admittedly. But never mind. I was never going to use it anyway, I suppose. Um, I wanted to do recall. Anchor. There we go. Ooh, loot pile. Also need to equip my lantern. Let's refill it. There we go. Okay. Daggerfall Courier's got nothing on Skyrim Courier's. I don't know, man. Daggerfall Courier's, they will find you any place you are. And you can't even, like, they're, and they, they're just, like, invisible. Like, you turn around and they're always gone. Where's my healing thing? Leather healing gauntlets, there they are. Do you, do you, does he equip them to use them? No, he doesn't. You just whack all the gauntlets around. That's the funniest thing in this game, is that you don't have to equip magic items to use them. He just gets a gauntlet out of his out of his backpack and flings it around a bit. And says some magic words and I'm, I'm hurrah, I'm healed. Ah, I've just remembered that I shouldn't be using my hammer right now. If I want to grind for that little bit, little bit of extra XP, I should be using Frostbite instead. Alternatively, I could just get killed by the Fire Atronach, so that's a thing. <laughs> uh, okay, let's load the auto save. Oh, no dragon scales this time? Unacceptable. Is it going to be the same monsters this time? That's the question. We're watching you. Sky. Yep, yep. The answer is an emphatic yep. They don't even have treasure, the bastards. I don't forget recall. Uh, good point. Yeah, thanks for the reminder. Fear of the Stark. Thanks for the tier one sub, man. Welcome aboard. Anchor, there we go. Time to go get murdered again. I'm not gonna use, I'm not gonna use Frostbite this time. I'm, I'm not. I'm just gonna hit them with a the hammer. We're already level 10. We don't need to be any higher. What's, what's, what's the point? <sighs> Flipping out, man. They hit like a truck. There's the mage. Relurch is dead. Bad luck, Relurch. Rubbish equipment. Dangerous heart's good though, I love that. Ha <laughs> Successful backstab, get in. Bass mages in a nutshell, in it, Django. Precisely why she summoned the fire atronax. <laughs> what even is this dungeon layout right now? This is definitely one of those really weird, twisty, turny ones. It's a good thing I did put the recall down. The end nigh. Uh, well, you know, I, I, I suspect we're still going to have to do a couple of monster-sized main quest dungeons before it's truly over. And Lord knows how long that's going to take. But, you know, the end is certainly in sight. 
A gargoyle. Ah, that shakes things up a bit. That's a bit unusual. I did put the recall down. No, I'm back here. Not been down here, apparently. Yeah, so when we finish Daggerfall, we're gonna play Dark Messiah, because I've been meaning to play that for bloody years and never got around to it. Uh, it's quite a short game, though. I'll probably get it done in like five, six, seven streams, something like that. Um, oh, bollocks. All right. I see how it is, game. And then after Dark Messiah, I don't know exactly what we'll do. Gothic is currently what I'm thinking, but there's a few other options, like stuff, other stuff I've wanted to do for a while, like Deus Ex and stuff like that. But I want to basically just play something nice and short and quick and fun before I go diving back into another really long game. Speaking of long stuff, <laughs> I watched all of Noah Gervais's um, Resident Evil retrospect yesterday. Seven fucking hour long video. It's actually amazing. I was feeling really shy yesterday. I, I had big time allergy symptoms going on. I felt absolutely freaking dreadful. So I spent all, all afternoon basically uh, being harassed by the cat who desperately wanted to go outside, but I couldn't at the time. And uh, painting while, while watching that, watching slash listening to that in the background. It was quality, though. I know a bit more about Resident Evil than I did when I started. I've only ever played the first one, and it wasn't even the first one, really. It was the remake of the first one. Well, I say that. It's like the remaster of the remake of the first one, isn't it? It was a very interesting video, though. It's like amazing how much of that series is just real, just pure bread, utter trash, and how much of it is like actually also really good. Like it varies so much in quality. That franchise. nothing on patrician tv yeah but the thing about noah is he provides quantity and quality i really find his insights into games a lot more interesting than anyone else's like there's there's other channels i do watch that do similar kind of stuff like big video essays about games but his is by far my favorite because he kind of he just pays attention to the kind of stuff that i pay attention when i put attention to when i play games a lot of other people focus a lot more on, on gameplay mechanics and like the multiplayer and stuff like that and he doesn't he just focuses on narrative and story and 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 all of that kind of stuff he approaches it like a, like a like a like someone who studied english literature as opposed to someone who studied game design and i really really dig that approach Have you seen his videos on KOTOR? Yeah, his, yeah, his video on KOTOR was really good as well. But a perfect example, that one, actually, as well, really. He doesn't... Yeah, like, his take on KOTOR was really, really interesting. And quite unlike any other video essay I've seen about those games.
I'm OP. I'm a werewolf. That's that's the secret. <laughs> if you play Daggerfall and you want to play on a slightly easier difficulty, just get bitten by a were creature. Trust me, it it, it it's a huge help. It gives you ridiculous stat buffs. What's the name of the channel? Uh, it's just Noah Gervais, I think. Uh, let me find you a link. Hold on. Sorry, people watching this on YouTube who won't be able to access the link. Here we go. Bosh. There we go. It's in the chat. Go have a look. Some fucking quality videos on there. His favorite videos of mine, though, actually, are actually not even his video game ones. They're his travel logs. Those are my favorite things he, he, he's done to date. I ca came for, I basically came for the video game retrospectives and stayed for the travel logs. Yeah, the travel vlog. He went through the. Yeah, basically, he went to. He, he toured in real life in his in his Volkswagen bus, all the locations from Fallout One Two and uh, New Vegas, in real life. Fucking a really cool video. Uh, anyway, Dow's the lantern. What the heck happened there? <laughs> I think it was the Khajiit suit effect replying, but it went all weird. Right, there's the palace. Mage skills over, over yonder. Dark Forces videos, that's an underrated series. Yeah, I watched that recently too, just the other day, in fact. I've only, uh, from that series, I've, I've only played uh, Jedi Knight, Jedi Academy, and I've played Jedi Outcast. And by played, I mean really, I got stuck on the first level of the game. <laughs> I didn't play any more after that. Uh, but what I did play of it, I certainly enjoyed. straight past it again. Hooray, a magic short bow. You only had the first, the, the Doom clone one. Uh, yeah. If you see them pop up as a bundle, like, de sale deal thing on GOG, just go for it. They're, they're pretty darn good games, to be honest. They're pretty flippin' good. I'd actually quite like to play the original Dark Forces one of these days, because apparently it is very, very good as Doom clones go. It is proper decent. I do like a good Doom clone, I have to admit. Uh, we are now promoted to the rank of Magician. Superb. Uh, research notes. Mm, uh. The Dark Artist. Ornoth grants us great autonomy concerning our methods of research, our purposes, our disciplinary pursuits, and so forth, provided we promote the common good with our scholarly work. A fascinating term, that. In exchange, we have something of an unspoken agreement, if you will, that when the students of the magical arts become a menace to society, we're the first to remove the threat. Please help us to fulfill that agreement, Tim. 
A worthy response. As duty falls upon every member of the guild in, in its due time, we will send you to the Dead Mug Hostel. A guild member in the city, highly trustworthy, informs us that the errant magician Vlomti hides and practices the Ashley residence. It practices in the Ashley residence. I certainly hope necromancy inspires no fear in you, for that is what you have agreed to quash this day. I was kind of hoping he'd be in a in a dungeon, not in a... Oh, well, never mind. I suppose it doesn't matter, I'm not grinding for XP anymore. We're just killing time, mostly, so... I guess that's fine. Uh, okay, so the dead mug, dead mug hostel. Always the wrong door. Always the wrong door. That bloody door. Dead mug hostel. There we go. Should we just wait in towns now? Um, theoretically, yeah, but that's not very fun. I could travel back across the map up to up to Daggerfall or whatever. That would kill some time. King's Guard. Hello. Thanks. It's just over here. We're watching. Someone says, come on in. Hello there, madam. Interesting dress you're wearing there. She's giving me like that that witch from Conan the Barbarian vibes. You've got the fireplace. Uh, Shady 0879. Thank you very much uh, for 19 months of savage. Oops. Where are you hiding him? Where are you hiding this wizard? Uh, you're neither of you are the bloody wizard. Wait, no, Vlurmty, that's you. How pathetic. Why? Will you fools continue to resist the power and beauty of the art of necromancy? Do you not see the hypocrisy in slaying me? But if you so insist, we will have our duel. Hatter, how about you? And she's going to magically transform into it. Yep. So be it. See the power you scorn. Vlurmty mutters an incantation. You hear something stirring. Plumpty's dead, and also we have a ghost, which is also whoa, multiple ghosts. All right, all right, enough of this. Enough of this. Free action, asshole. Ooh, very nearly dead. Very nearly dead. Hello, madam. Um, apologies for all this. Me barging in here, and you're not even fully dressed. Murdering your housemate. Bit rude, all things considered, I know. A map. I never remember these. Wraiths and ghosts don't have treasure. What's that other effect that's on me right now? That orange one at the top left there. How do you see what frickin' spell effects are on you in this game? It's so annoying that I can't do that. Drives me bloody bonkers. You just get an icon, and it's like, okay, have fun figuring out what that icon means. Considering that no one bats an eye at this, I assume it happens literally all the time, yeah. <laughs> Maybe I have a badge, like a police officer. I've got a little Mages Guild badge that I just get out of my wallet. We dream of the moon. Oh, good. Rawr. <laughs> 
It's that time of the month again. Hello. Splendidly done, magician. This work ensures the general public lends the proper confidence in the Mages Guild. <laughs> they send werewolves out to do their bidding. <laughs> would a diamond be a proper reward for this task in your estimation? I pray you could put it to good use. That and some dog biscuits would be nice. Ah, it's been dumped on the floor because I'm shape changed. Whoops. Am I going to transform back? Yep. All right, keep on. Actually, no. I, you know what? I don't. I don't want a quest. I'm gonna just travel. Whoa! Hello. What do you do again? You make spells. Okay. Where shall we go? We've been to a Calon before. Northmore, Frigius. Let's go to Northmore. Never been there before. Where's the capital? Where's Northmore in Northmore? Gothcroft. Westworth. Yes. That will take us 30 days, apparently. I feel the need to hunt the innocent as well, just, just for giggles. An unfamiliar object is in your pack catches your eye. It's a letter! Hooray! All right, then. There's not going to be any innocents to hunt, though, are there? Because I've approached the town in werewolf form. Which is the chief problem. Maybe if I leave. If I go far enough down here for the music to change. Or not, I don't know, whatever. Re equip the hammer. Ah. We have innocence, unfortunately, though. Yeah, that can only be done once a day, so I need to go into town and rest for the night. Where is your mages guild, then? It's up there, by the looks of things. Or possibly there. Inconvenient. No, I don't. No, I wish to loiter. Oh, so annoying. Which who who which bastard? Which bastard on the Daggerfall development team decided? You know what? We'll have the Majors Guild open at eleven o'clock instead of you know like 
eight o'clock or something normal. They knew that if you travel cautiously, you will always arrive in the morning when you get to a town. And then they made the conscious decision, do you know what, we'll actually make it so that the Mage's Guild doesn't open at the time you arrive, just to really fuck off the players. Whoa. Hello, madam. Actually, I haven't bought spells in a while. Is there anything good? Four, four hundred, who has 460 magicka? Who? 490 for holy word. Kick. 497 for quite undead. 514 for spear, sphere of negation. Although disintegrate certainly sounds fun. Seriously though. What in the goddamn? Are you that you're the quest dude, okay. You're just sat on a bucket in the corner. Okay. You got any good magic items? Breaches of wildfire. Steel leaping saber, steel dead man's saber. What's that do? Firestorm. Well, that's certainly okay. Levitate. Iron broadsword of oblivion. Sphere of negation. Spellbook. Soul trap. That doesn't do anything. None of these do anything. Okay, whatever. Uh, actually, I'm just going to rest here for now. You've not rented... What? I'm a member of the Mages Guild! What is this? I don't need to rent a room! Fine. Do you know what? I'm just going to go back to good old Faithful Fighters Guild. That's what I'm going to do. That's a fancy door though, isn't it? Where's the fire skill? It's gonna be over there somewhere. Here we go. Marvellous. Can we get some extra training while we're here? Thousand gold to train now. Lycanthropy! Sup. There we go. Job's done. My health is now back to normal. And let us examine this letter, finally. Oh, you're kidding me. It's a fucking werewolf hunter letter. Dispogex, that's a new one. Not Triceragoth anymore. We are now Dispogex. Prince Loaded, Morgaya, Princess of Wayrest. Ah! Hello, birds. They're from a mod. Those geese. They look a bit like geese. It's a point, big X, yes. I 
I never noticed how tall this Mage's Guild is. Does it even have stairs on the inside? What do you do? Training. Oh, hell. Why not? We bit of destruction? Why not? All right, what do you got for me? <laughs> the novice idyllic. Someone in another city possessing an object that needs identification. Are you able to win? No. Alchemic mishap. Occasionally we misplace our trust in certain students, land them more latitude with our chemical experiments than they deserve. Not bloody me. Um, I'm not allowed to do any alchemy. I have a sample here of contaminated fluid that must be purified and sent to one of our more experienced members for reuse. He wouldn't cast a spell to cure poison. I think I can cure poison. Very well, and here it is. The student, who will go unnamed, decided to make the scorpion stinger into water without boiling it beforehand. As you and I well know, yeah, totally, I know that. I'm not a meathead from the Fighters Guild. That permits the venom to spread, and now the entire decanter is full of the filthy matter. Thankfully, a simple spell to cure poison will do the trick. Once you've purified it, take it to Gonderick Buckingsmith, who tends to work in Burcastle. Uh, you will be paid for the delivery. The rename, rec reclaimed liquid will actually be useful in certain lesser trials which we will wish to record in an isolated environment. Quite convenient. Please have this done within 24 days and your reward will be 966 gold pieces. Man, you guys pay crap as well. Like, what the hell, man? Alright, Bellina's antidote. Where, where, where is it? I definitely have a cure poison here somewhere. I'm sure I do. I've got cure disease. Clean's antidote, there it is. Takes effect rapidly, the previously dotted water becomes clear. Although technically I failed to cast a spell, which is very amusing, but anyway. Um Berg means castle. I've always I mean, I don't know. I've always heard the term Berg used to describe a like a like a small town. Or just a town in general. Bye. Because we still have Edinburgh as well down here, which is basically spelled exactly the same, just with an H on the end. Right, where 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 are we going? Bird Castle, right down there near the border. It's not even a fortified town, so <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Am I? Am I? I'm a, I'm a fucking werewolf again, for God's sake! It did take a month to travel. Yes, you are correct. All right, whatever. As long as we don't need to hunt the innocent, that's, that's always the more annoying bit. Problem is, I require directions right now. Let's pop into a tavern. Bat and priest. Is it like bat as in, you know, small furry mammal with wings, or is it like bat like cricket bat? 
No! Every time you try and talk to it in a goddamn tavern, has a quest for you. It's so annoying. I get no response from you. Alright, yeah, because I'm a werewolf. Right, my bad. Stand by, madam. That wasn't what I wanted to do, game. Right, there we go. People. All right, yeah. If, you, if they're inside a building, they won't they won't mark it on your map. So she's just like try south. Master's new residence. Well, it is named as opposed to just called residence, so it means we might be in the right place. Werewolf with a floating candle wandering about the place. Perfectly normal. Ah, I, yeah, it could only be you, couldn't it, really? Water has been cleansed? Very good, thank you. This kind of matter is actually useful on several levels, one of which is to test the effect of magic on the glass that holds liquid. Uh, but enough about that. Here is the reward the guild promised you. A safe journey to you, so my regards to the fellows in Northmoor. Ah. How do I get out of this labyrinthine house? Help! I'm lost! There we go. No, he wasn't the novice, he was some other dude. <laughs> Getting a very uh, Spyro the Dragon vibe from this, this fountain the graphics the little sparkly bits and everything hey there's a good um there's a good sort of like quick palette cleanser game I, I think anyway how how long is is spyro the dragon now i think about it actually uh i've never really thought about that before use the whole long to, how long to beat command in discord and find out but I'd, I'd like to play some play a bit of Spyro the Dragon at some point. You know, the remaster that is, that's on the PC. Probably beat it in three to five streams. Yeah, I mean, obviously, in that, assuming, obviously, I'm not, not doing it completionist and all. I don't think I have a completionist bone in my body. It's a nice view from up here, actually. False Idol, uh, 1319, extended their Tier 1 subscription through October. Thank you for doing that. I'm not entirely sure exactly what that means, but cheers anyway. I think, oh, is it, oh, no, no, it's one of those ones where if you get, I think it's, you got gifted a sub and then you chose to extend it, right? I think that's what that is, right? Anyway, cheers. <sighs> Now then, what was I doing? Back to Northmoor, that was it. Rip Tower. There's Northmoor, it's this one here. Going to Google, six to eight hours. Oh, nice, that's, 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 that's very quick. Good show, good show. Might play that after I finish Fallout 3 then. I am determined to play Dark Messiah after we do this though. I kind of want to always be playing some kind of fantasy RPG-ish thing every week. So Dark Messiah is going to be what we do after we finish Dagger 4. Because that's another 6 to 8 hour game really. Well. Is it? No, it's a bit longer than that, but yeah. Still quite short. And like I said, I wanted to play it for ages because I f originally played Dark Messiah at a friend's house because he had a better computer than me at the time and he could actually run it. 
um, and I, I played it at, at his house, and I thought, this game is amazing. This is so cool. And then years and years later, I got it on Steam on a sale, uh, and I just never got around to actually playing it because I kept telling myself, oh, I'll stream this, I'll stream this, or I'll do a Let's Play of it or whatever. And I never got around to it. Kingmaker stream went, never. <laughs> I'd say Kingmaker is the next Daggerfall, but I'm not stupid enough to, to put a game as a Patreon donation goal ever again. <laughs> can, I, can I stop being a werewolf now? <laughs> Looks like I can. Atronarch hunting. In a rather routine Atronarchy class, one of the subjects managed to... Well, the detail's not important. What, there, what it is, is that there's an Atronarch on the loose in North Moor that can easily be traced back to this guild and our maladministration. You're the type who could end this affair with minimum of embarrassment, yes? Well, the wolf, what a relief. The miserable creature has apparently taken up residence in a nasty little hole they call the Citadel of Rodistair. For our reputation's sake, it's essential that this be done quickly and quietly, so if you're not able to dispatch the Atronarch in ten days, don't bother coming back for your reward. Good day! Good day, sir! Good day! Alright. Boy, he's a wolf. You're only a few hours in, but you rather enjoying Kingmaker? Yeah. The reason you're enjoying Kingmaker is because you're a few hours in. Give it time. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Maybe yeah, some people have a, have a high, much higher tolerance for like repetitious gameplay, and those kind of folks. Um, fuck's sake, I'm a werewolf again. Um, and those kind of folks probably really dig Pathfinder or a game like this. Bugged screen? What do you want about Django? Screen's fine. <laughs> Problem at your end, mate. Oh yeah, no, that we've seen that plenty of times before, Django. That's been, that's been the case ever since we became a werewolf. That's how I'm amazed that you've only noticed it just now, mate. <laughs> Oh, I can see something over there. Oh, fuck. All right, okay, we're doing this in werewolf form, apparently. Hello. There's a lot of knights in this hole in the ground that contains an astronaut. Can't access the inventory. Ah, whatever. It's probably just junk anyway. A few bits of spare change. I can still cast spells while I'm wear full form, can't I? So. <laughs> yeah, well, although, although I've got to be honest with you, Dr. Fat, like, whenever I've played d d in the past. It, it hasn't involved nearly quite so much randomly walking around in fields. 
because that's what King that's what Kingmaker is. After you get past the prologue, it's just like exploring fields. Lots and lots and lots of fields. It's like Baldur's Gate 1 on steroids, really. We heard you liked Baldur's Gate 1 and you like exploring fields. Oh, we have got the game for you. Do you, want, do you want a campaign map for your RPG with hundreds and hundreds of woody fields? Because my god have we got them. By the bucket load. No, secret door in the room of the jerk with the bats. Um, no. No, there is not. Any more wonderful, helpful advice today, Janko? You just let me know, mate. <laughs> ah, ah, I'm, I'm, I'm a centaur today. Ah, ah. You haven't seen a centaur in ages. Kind of miss him almost. Fish. More fish. Furniture. Uh, ooh, I assume that's the action in question. I hope I can actually harm it with my wolf claws. Oh, it looks like I can, yeah. Except it can also really seriously harm me in return. Oh, boy. I'll, I'll give it, I'll give it a, one at a time, guys. There's plenty of Tim to go around. Just wait your turn. All right, right. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Gauntlets of healing. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right, chum. How about... Force Bolt! I like the I like the um, thief two um, footstep sound effects they gave him. I'd rather die than go back to the Mage's Guild laboratory. The life fades from the Atronach's eyes. Oh, they can talk. I didn't know that. But, uh, changes things a bit, doesn't it? Really. Oh, look, a centaur. <laughs> there you go. The game was listening to me, but it's just like, all right, fine, I'll give you a dead centaur. Oh yeah, of course, the riddle Atronux and Morrowind. I just kind of thought they were a special case, though. You know, like they've been magically made to just repeat riddles. I didn't really think of them as being particularly sentient. Oh, hello. If there's a thing we can mind. I need to I need to order my dinner in the next few minutes actually. Is there a, is there a button we can push somewhere to make this move? Yeah, if I click the chest, it moves the cage. How do you even backstab a bat? That's madness. I can hear him. There he is, the centaur! Hurrah! He didn't even give me a single ha ha, though. Uh, 
Oh, I think I'm done with this place. I'm bored of this now. Ostracizing the centaurs. Ah, very good, very good. Right. Oh, wait, no, I just need to. Whoa, look at all those. Why only direwolves in most RPG games? Where is your dire badger or dire wombat? I mean, dire badgers are definitely a thing in in D and D. I refer to you to my Neverwinter Nights Let's Play, which featured Barry the dire badger. Etiquette skills improved. Um, so the reason for that, I think, is probably because we were fighting lots of human enemies. Or it might have improved as a result of us doing a, that, that quest earlier where we talked to the dude and brought the potion that we purified or something. God damn it. Ah, that's me alone. Right, I need to... Um, we're going to go inside. We're going to hand this quest. And then I'm going to order my dinner. <laughs> Where bears are underrepresented. Where sharks, man. Where alligators. Where crocodiles. Where capybara. Specifically, all the knights I killed. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Killing. <laughs> yeah, I love it. It's like just murdering a bunch of a uh, bunch of knights will apparently improve your etiquette. Hashtag Daggerfall logic. Uh, what am I? What am I trying to do right now? I'm trying to yeah loiter. That was it. The hunter returns. You've saved us a considerable discomfiture with your precipitate amelioration of our Atronarch crisis. A first-rate job all around. Accept your gold and my gratitude. I cannot, I'm afraid. Not while I'm shape-changed. <laughs> there we go. Page rubbish at the fight at the Mage's Guild, I gotta say. It's actually dreadful. Bookshelf. Anything good? Two copies of Wabberjack, apparently. The real Baron Zaya, part three. I wonder if that's the spicy one. Speaking of spicy. Oh, I see that fortify is that uh, personality, that is charm. Um, it's really annoying the way it doesn't grey out spells you already have. You can end up buying duplicate spells in this game. It's kind of stupid. I wonder if open would be rather would be a good idea. Just because occasionally we find magically shut doors. Yeah, I'll give it a go, I suppose. Thank you. Someone needs to cast a close spell on your bloody blouse, madam. Right. Okay. One moment, folks. 
having fish and chips for dinner. But I need to order it first, so. They are open right now, right? I mean, you'd think so. Yeah, there we go. Warrington's Fish and Chips. There we go. Cod and... Where are the chips? Where are the chips at? Two small chips. You really don't need anything bigger than small um, from from this from this chippy because Jesus Christ! You order a medium from these guys and you get enough to feed six people. Pete, hello, subversary, fifteen months, much appreciated. Do you have anything else I want? Get a chip putty for two quid. Alternatively, I could just put some of my chips in a roll at home. <laughs> I think I can hear a cat meowing. I'm going to assume he's managed to find his way back inside. I want to go check on him in just a second. Live food ordering. 10 out of 10 content, yes. I need to do it now so it'll actually arrive But when I finish the stream. I mean, he, he, you know, if, if I can hear him meowing, it means he's inside. So he might have hopefully figured out the cat flap. Could have also just been a screaming child outside in the street. Who knows? They sound remarkably similar sometimes. All right, cool. That's that's done. Let's hop on over to an intermission for a minute. I'm going to go see if, if the cat has managed to make his way back inside.
Right, I'm back. How do you doodly do, everybody? I did indeed hear the cat. Unfortunately, he hasn't figured out the cat flap, although we think there's something wrong with the cat flap because it just doesn't seem to be working properly. It's one of those ones that scans the microchip in him and then it should unlock for him when he comes close to it, but it's just not really working. Like, it's not unlocking properly. It's sort of doing it very inconsistently, so... Kind of annoying. Kind of annoying. According to a little slip of paper that came in the box, so it might be because he has a so-called low-power microchip, and that's why it's not scanning properly. Um, otherwise, I can just put it in training mode, and it'll work like a regular cat flap, which is fine. But just kind of annoying, because you spend the extra money to have the scanning thing, and it doesn't work. So... Yeah, kind of annoying. Anyway, because the whole point is you want to keep other the other neighbourhood cats out, but let him in. Um, and if it's just a regular cat flap, you can't really do that. So, but never mind. But the, on the bright side, though, he was smart enough to just lie down and wait outside the door until someone let him in, so he didn't go wandering off. Anyway, I just fed him because he was walking around rubbing everybody's legs and going meow, 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 repeatedly, which is just his way of saying, I'm hungry, feed me, Seymour. Right. Why is my character moving so slow? Is that just... Because I'm used to moving this fast all the time. Okay. So... I'm, I'm, I'll probably try and program it again to see if I can get it to stick this time properly. Because we tried it out in the living room before we actually installed the cat flap to make sure it would work. And it worked fine in there, but then when he, whenever he got within a couple of feet of the thing, it would unlock. But now it's actually on the door. For some reason, it's not working properly. So I don't know. Peculiar. Banished Daedra. I know I can't spell cast that spell. I hate these quests. They're rubbish. They're all rubbish. I'm going to the fighters guild. Yeah, I'd agree. The, the music is definitely one of its redeeming qualities. The Fighters Guild. Get quest. Uh, Eight-legged freaks. Singing Relic of Mars, having some problems with venomous critters in its streets. See, look how much more they pay me, it's amazing. Sure. Kill as many as will stop them from spreading more. Get it done in eight days. I mean, take your time getting here after that. The Singing Relic of Mara. The Singing Relic of Mara. Oh, finally. Right, we've got another letter. Let's go do this quest, and then we'll check that out. Um, what? Okay, more letters. There we go. <laughs> Multiple letters. Donation contract should just be a matter of walking the streets. You consider waiting until night time to not injure any bystanders. Probably wise, but when was I ever wise? Though, to be fair, I could probably just get away with the loitering for a bit. Until it stops me and says enemies are nearby. There we go. 
flat. Enemies nearby. Come on, there we go. To a fillable fighter's guild contract, Gondor Steel Whitcroft will have your money in Northmore. Marvelous. Enjoy all the dead spiders, everybody. Luckily, I have not been contracted to clear those up. You have to find someone else to tidy that up. Uh, right. There's a character idea. A book about a dude that's not the fantasy hero, but he's the guy who has to clean up after the fantasy heroes all the time. Or maybe he has like a company, like a cleanup company. They just come around like every time the city's been sacked by orcs or something, there's been a big climactic battle and the archdemon has been slain. His lot turn up to tidy everything up. Right. My dinner has just arrived by the sounds of it, so we'll head on back to the Fighters Guild, turn in this quest, and then that'll be it for today's stream. This for a cleanup detail, but fantasy. Yeah, but like, no, I mean, I don't mean a game. Like, I mean, like a book. Like an actual story. Um, okay. Yep, here's my money. Oh, two, two grand of it. Lovely, lovely stuff. Right, ladies and gentlemen, I think we'll just save it right here, like this, so we get that classic um, Daggerfall Fighters Guild deja vu. Let me load up next time. And next time we have a bunch of letters to read, and hopefully one of them will contain progress towards the end of the main quest. But for now, everybody, I must leave you. Who can we raid? Very is playing City Skylines. Perfect. I've not raided him in a little while now, so... Perfect. Very has already beaten Daggerfall. He's already suffered through this before me. So, um, if I know if he can beat the game, I'm, I'm sure I probably can, so... Go say hi to V for me, everybody. Uh, I'm going to go enjoy my fish and chips. Have a good one. Toodaloo!